It was obvious that the Sonic the Hedgehog movie would have a sequel. Well, because the end of the movie showed that. Here we are. The second movie is around the corner, and I got all the Sonic 2 toys. So let's check them out. There are four categories to the Sonic 2 toys. 4 inch action figures. 2 and a half inch action figures. A remote control figure. And plushes. The plushes are just that. Although I thought that 10 bones was a bit much for a plush that looks like it comes from a claw machine. Now that's a bit steep. There is a larger fuzzier plush that has these strange eyes. I'll try to explain but I don't know if it's gonna make any sense. They look like they're in two parts. The part attached to the plush has the iris and the pupil painted on it. Then there's this clear cover over it, and the inside of the clear cover is painted white except for the part that shows the iris and the pupil. Now I hope that made sense, but either way, it freaks me out, man. Moving on to the remote control Sonic. He's on this piece of debris turned snowboard, just like in the trailer. There's these wheels on the sides, but when he's displayed in the box and promo shots, he looks like he's on a plane's wing with a propeller in the middle. The controller is a ring, and there's a forward button, a spin button, and a speed up button. Basically, it just lights up the wheels. It looks pretty cool. The Sonic figure has some articulation, so you can pose him to look like he's snowboarding. Next up are the small figures. They come in a five pack. They include Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Robotnik, and a Buzz Bomber. There are no accessories, but are really cool. These look great along with the other two and a half inch Sonic figures. There's also the Tornado playset. This vehicle includes a Sonic and Tails with flight cap figures. This is the only way to get this version of Tails. In reality, it's just a head swap. Tails fits perfectly fine in the pilot seat. There are some foot pegs and handles on the wings. The gimmick on this vehicle is that the rear landing gear could be squeezed and the propeller spins. The other 2.5 inch Sonic figures look like they belong with the Tornado as well. You can even have Tails riding on it. Then probably the most popular figures are their 4 inch line. These figures come with one accessory and they include Robotnik, Knuckles, Tails, and Sonic. Robotnik is the only figure with two accessories, a coffee cup and an egg drone robot. Tails has a gun. And both Knuckles and Sonic have the same type of debris turned snowboards just like on the trailer. The gun and the coffee cup fit fine in their figure's hands. The boards have foot pegs. Sonic's fits just fine, but I noticed that the pegs destroy the peg holes on Knuckles' boots. So he's pretty loose and won't stay up, so I usually display him holding the snowboard. So he's pretty loose and won't stay up. Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles are very top and back heavy, making them hard to stand up. The Egg Drone needs a stand. Without it, it would just lay on the ground then get lost easily. The sculpt on these are very nice. Tails needs a little help, but the rest are worth the price of admission. The figures go well with the basic Sonic the Hedgehog figures from Jack Specific. These figures are very cool, except for Knuckles fell off my shelf and hit me around 4am one morning. I really do like these a lot, and if you're already getting the basic figures, I would 100% recommend these. <laughs> 